New at six for many families, back to school can create a return to stress and anxiety, but experts say properly coping with these emotions is key. In many ways, it can help uh, improve one's mental health, which research shows 50 million Americans are experiencing a mental illness. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper explains how addressing some of these emotions can lead to more positive outcomes. In the past few years, there has been plenty of change as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and experts say with that change can come stress and trauma. For a lot of people, they've lost, physically lost uh, family members, lost family members to death. There's been loss in terms of some loss of, of, of that sense of safety and innocence that uh, that we probably once had. North Carolina ranks 12th in the U.S. for states dealing with mental health struggles. And now with students back in the classroom, families are dealing with the added stress of ensuring safety when it comes to precautions for COVID-19 and school shootings. But therapists say these feelings shouldn't be foreign. Everybody handles stress differently. And a lot of it is about giving yourself grace to feel that stress and, and know that it's normal. We're told it's also important to recognize how these emotions can affect you physically, mentally, behaviorally, spiritually, and emotionally, too. Some of the best coping advice is communication. To really connect uh, as much as you can face to face with people to where you have that interaction, that connectivity with people. Uh, sometimes it's as much as, as just connecting with family members, friends that you maybe have not talked to in a while so that you, you really feel like you're not alone. Uh, with whatever it is you're going through. And when it comes to loss and grief, the Mental Health Summit coming to Charlotte next weekend is making that as focus to help connect children and families with the resources they need. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.